Welcome to Moving Math and Science and the Asteroid Belt and the Kuiper Belt. With the discovery of Pluto in 1930, astronomers started thinking, are there more objects beyond Neptune? In 1951, Gerard Kuiper predicted that there must be a belt of icy objects beyond Neptune, but astronomers struggled to see them. In 1992, David Jewett and Jane Liu discovered the Kuiper Belt. It is a collection of icy objects outside the orbit of Neptune. There may be millions of these icy objects known as Kuiper Belt objects, KBOs, or Trans-Neptunian objects, TNOs. So what do you find in the Kuiper Belt? Probably the most famous object is the dwarf planet Pluto. However, you will also find bits of rock and ice. In addition, you will find dwarf planets and KBOs, Kuiper Belt Objects. Some of these objects may enter the inner solar system and become comets. When you hear the term asteroid belt, you may envision something that looks like this. The asteroid belt is a collection of rocks and ice found between Mars and Jupiter. It's roughly found 2 AUs to 4 AUs from the Sun. Objects in the asteroid belt range from pebbles to dwarf planet Ceres, and there may be over half a million asteroids that have been discovered. However, it is estimated that if you combine all the mass of the asteroids together, it would only be the size of a very small moon. One misconception people may have is that the asteroid belt does look like this, with the asteroids very close together. In reality, most of the objects are up to 100,000 kilometers apart. So what are the asteroids made of? Fortunately, you can study meteorites to figure this out. Meteorites have a large variety of composition, but generally are composed of iron, nickel, silicates, and carbon. Thanks for watching and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.